our national team will go to Copenhagen in June to have a training camp with the national team. Ah, and we have started. So the white team is from Malmö in Sweden and the blue team is from Amagerland close to Copenhagen in Denmark. So they actually have been training together before because it's so close to each other. There's only a bridge in between. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so far it's a pretty, you know, equal start. No real attacks on the goal yet. We see that uh, the Danish girls are playing really nice as a team. They're passing the ball over and over. Keep the ball within the team. And the Swedish girls are allowing them to just browse around. And what we see now is that the goal is surrounded with Danish girls. Yeah, I'm wondering that uh, the defender comes so late. Um, so we have a free throw against uh, Black Mermaids. So the Danish ladies uh, attack and uh, actually they get always in the position of the defender so this enables an attack from the side so they're blocking the actual defender in coming in a really good defense position so but so far not really too close to the goal and um, that's the definition what's too close to the goal uh, the definition yeah. is too close to the ball when you can put the ball in the goal if the ball doesn't come near the goal, then it's not too close. Uh, hey, Christine. Political, you're correct. Nice that you're also <laughs> watching. And uh, we would like to say to Kenny, if you're checking out the website, please follow us on Instagram or Facebook. That's where we're currently updating all the scores constantly. Um, the website will take a little bit longer. In the meantime, we're looking at this beautiful cluster. On the cluster. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. This is what I really hate on the sport. The clusters on the surface. Yeah, well. This is, for me, I did not like it as a player, I did not like it as a coach. I think it gives some opportunity if you are able to pass the ball out on the bottom side and quickly accelerate between either your own goal or get an attack against you. Personally, I would say don't allow that. Well. my personal opinion uh, we see here that the uh, black mermaids are trying to come closer to uh, Amagerland's goal they're keeping also the goal the ball within their team and i think it's really nice to see that both teams are playing a similar style similar level here yeah. we see Aelin uh, who's getting stuck by Amagerland and um, Amagerland uh, attacked Elin on the throat. Uh, so there's a free throw for Black Mermaids. I hope they can take advantage of this. But how often is there a goal out of a free throw instantly? And I think the three throws is uh, in general not very effective for, for attacks. It's, it's don't give a real advantage because you, you basically start on the same level mm. so that it's, uh, it's but we see that there's already one black mermaid in the position but she got out of air and Amagrant's trying to break out dropping the ball and the black mermaid girls are not letting go easily they're really good right now in um, making sure that Amagrant is not coming closer towards their goal so here we see a nice 2-2 two two situation. Yeah, but it's uh, uh, tipped away, so Amagen has uh, the ball, bring it to the middle, but not down. So you can see the difference uh, to, to Norway, when Norway can, oh, very quick attack, under the goalkeeper, lift the goalkeeper, and go 
really quick counter attack of uh, Amal there. Yeah. It's Have you seen the number or not? Mm, no, sorry. Ah, well. I was so I was concentrating on the grip and the result of the of the grip. And uh, the Danish girls play with seven girls, so this is amazing. So they have the speed, they, they have the, 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 the control, and there's almost no exchange possibilities. So respect for their performance so far. Well done. I hope they can keep it up for uh, the remaining time, which is uh, four and a half minutes in this game and this part of the game and then uh, the second half which is another 15 minutes 10 10 minutes yes I've th 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 but you can see also out of the cluster they came getting the ball out that was uh, not good uh, situ situation this is a victoria really nice that she's trying to break over not giving up mm, against Christina I think from Denmark it's really interesting that uh, both teams have some like top players yeah it's uh, seeing the the, the it's not so fast and so open as we saw from Norway before, but uh, the ball is well controlled, the attack well prepared, and I mentioned that uh, the, the Danish girls have almost no exchange player, they have a high bottom time, mm. and they're supporting each other very strongly, they help each other, so they have the right attitude in uh, controlling the game um. did you see that move where uh, one of the players is waiting on the bottom and just kicks off in the right direction so you can try to intercept the ball kicking off from the bottom can give mm -hmm. you so much more speed in the direction you want to it's, it's uh, as a uh, player I think the the situation of the walls on the bottom is a lot of time not used. Mm -hmm. uh, we, I see that a uh, lot of things runs in a uh, uh, standard pattern and once the pattern is established in the player, they will never change. So giving other movements into a well-established player is almost impossible. I think there are different ways of doing that by changing club, changing position, trying to limit yourself by not using your dominant hands. Of course, but uh, in my experience, uh, I <laughs> it's quite hard to to have that. So it's 1-0 for um, the Danish team Amagelan. We unfortunately do not know who made the goal, but it was a pretty goal. It was a fast goal. Yeah. And now there is a, a white free throw. And the Black Mermaids are very eager to making this 1-1 before the half time. Yeah, this is a uh, half final, this is a money game, so if you want to be in the top ranking, you have to win this, this game, so the pressure is on the Black Mermaids. Uh, for me it's always confusing seeing the Black Mermaids in white. <laughs> but uh, the Danish girls, uh, they, they managed to get the ball free, they, they get the counter attack, they're coming down, but it's a question how long they can keep up the speed without exchange, so that could be an advantage for the Black Mermans in the second half to increase the speed, uh, especially in the attack mode to bring it a uh, so little bit more pressure onto the goal so that the goalkeeper and defender get more 
uh, exhausted to have the chance to here, score then. Here we saw Antonia in a really nice position, but she did not manage to get the ball to her, and uh, the referees call off, and it's half time. So it's 1 0 for Amagran right now. And uh, as we said before, they only play with seven players. Yeah. So it's really impressive that they keep this level up with uh, that little uh, exchanges. Um, I'm very sure that uh, right now, uh, Kaisa and uh, Erika and Anne Sophie are uh, telling the Black Mermaids to really step up their game and dive an extra dive and stay one, two seconds longer underwater. And um, I really hope they do. And I actually know they can because that's how they won from my team. <laughs> so I hope they do that again. So which team you are playing? I'm playing with uh, Caviar Divine. Mm. It is the so-called Stockholm team. Okay. But uh, it's Stockholm with a range of like 500 kilometers around us. Okay. And we're taking in most girls from yeah the middle of the country. Uh, it's a bit flexible. Uh, we even have players from Gotland, the island next to mm. Sweden. Uh, yes, we're really. So how many teams do you have in Sweden? Female teams. Female teams. Uh, currently, we have uh, four. Okay. Uh, Black Mermaids from Malmö, Divine from Stockholm, the new team from uh, up north in Sweden. Mm -hmm. uh, they're called Isbjörna, and they're really, they're a very young, good, motivated team, and they really have the power what it takes to kick Black Mermaids' ass mm -hmm. in the future. And then we have Felix. From okay, Gotland, yeah. uh, from uh, Jotboy, yeah, and uh, Felix uh, is known for their Felix Cup and their party, and they are actually doing such a good job now. They are having an uh, underwater rugby course for girls around, for okay. like 50 girls uh, next weekend, and I think okay. it's really impressive if you can teach 50 girls to swim, and um, they also have the Felix project where they help immigrants to learn how to swim. And then play rugby because if you get a hobby, um, yeah. you feel more part of something. Yes, and, um, I agree. That really is a good thing. But enough about that for now. Uh, we're going back to the game. Uh, Black mermaids are getting in the water again. Amagran is already ready. Let's see if uh, one of the power girls can strike another goal or from Black Mermaids or from Amagran because both teams can do this explosive goals if they really want to. Yeah. But maybe Amagran is happy with 1-0. I would be happy with 1-0 again in every game. <laughs> Until you play equal in the last seconds. Yeah, well, okay, an, yeah, an yeah, opponent yeah. team can yeah. always score in the last few seconds. I would be more comfortable with 2-0. Also to enable the other team's hope or disable. So but here the, we... The, um, the, the, the pressure for sure is now on the Black Mermaids uh, to check their uh, position, their their business and uh, to establish the mm -hmm. high attack uh, to the goal. Here we see uh, Signa, uh, who's designing the cool stickers on your waterway fins. And they are really, like, they're coming wave after wave, and it's really nice to see that there's some team goal playing here. Here's Kaisa and a Danish player hanging on her. There's another, both Swedish and Danish player hanging under to catch the ball to drop. Here we see a nice shot of uh, Christine. I actually need to apologize. I don't think it's Christine. I'm confusing two people here. Laila. So uh, every time I uh, said Christine, I meant. <laughs> 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 uh, 
but good that no one in the chat is actually paying attention to that. So if you're listening to us, please uh, write us where you're listening from. Would be nice to hear who's watching this very interesting game to see which team will make it through, the, through to the next round. Here we see a counter-attack yeah. of uh, Amagran. And they're, they're, they're keeping the speed up, so they're not only concentrating on defending. The, the, the game is physical, they're controlling. Uh, they're playing with uh, only one exchange player, so it's very impressive. Uh, their fight, uh, it's 7.30 to go in the second half. It's free throw for the Black Mermaids, so the question is uh, how they can establish constant pressure to the Danish goal. We have a listener from Scotland who's cheering for the Black Mermaids. Okay. Really nice. I am thinking that this person from Scotland is maybe a personal supporter for Bloom Bay, who is currently studying in Scotland. Oh. And here we see her actually in, uh, well, not anymore. She's trying to make a goal here. She still has the ball. This guy's... Uh, how would I see uh, if you... Kaisa's really experienced and you see how she's just slipping through multiple players towards the goal. Yeah, but uh, th I see the problem that uh, there's less position to pass the ball. Correct, correct. But and here, oh, is Blomberg going to make this goal? Unfortunately not. I say unfortunately mm -hmm. because obviously I'm cheering for Sweden. I'm sorry if you're cheering for Denmark and disagree with me. No, I'm, I'm flexible. I do some the communication, so I'm, I'm cheering talking for to all our listeners who are angry. <laughs> 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 I'm very I, I I get a lot of criticizing in the past that I say something about someone and try not to criticize this. I try to describe this in a in a fair mode and, uh, and not to go for. Especially most of the German team was pissed mm. with me because I told them that, they do that what I saw and uh, what I was not happy with, so I don't try to it's not a free more, throw. More, more look for the positive sides of this uh, exciting sports. Here now we see four black, uh, uh, black mermaids in the attack. And they don't let go of the Amagran girls. They jump right on them if they're trying to swim out. Yeah. But will they be able to make a goal is the question. Yes, uh, so they're, they're basically fast. They're, they bring the ball into the uh, attack position, but then they're not able to increase the pressure so high. Here we see Signa. Signa help Signa to make this goal and go in together. So Black Mermaids, they have a few new goals, but they also have, like here we see Anne Sophie really going towards the goal. And um, it so could. It's true that Anne Sophie is a superstar. And it is, but you know, it's working against her because many people know what she's capable of. She's, she's not allowed to go an inch. If I play against Anne Sophie, I block her up if I see her. Okay. She's not going anywhere. And that's okay. If I'm not going anywhere, she's not going anywhere, and that's a tactic to play. But here we see Amagran going on a counter-attack. Right, now we... Yeah, when you imagine that they're playing with seven girls, I'm very impressed. It looks that they're... Actually, they look when they're, they're defending some... There they are more black uh, girls in the water. The At least underwater. But yeah. here there's an attack again on the goal, but not a... Not a serious attack. Yeah, She's trying to fin find an opening. Yes. Solid defense. They are between the... the always yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Really nice in the corner of the basket. Unfortunately, an Amagranol got hold of the ball and swimming up again. Here we see really good that um, the Amagran girls are laying under the scrum, waiting for the ball to come out. 
So I don't see how much time is left, but the clock is uh, ticking clearly for... Three minutes left in the second half of the oh. game. And here's Kaiser trying to make another attack. Oh, no, that's not sick now. I think this is Erika who is trying to... It's, uh, it's amazing. So yeah. when they're, they're attacking with two girls and then you see... Uh, for four, four, four. Uh, four plays, four black players are underwater. Yeah, so... But now we see that uh, more white people surrounding the goal without any success because you need to get the ball there, of course, too. I think the only way to uh, tackle this really great defense is to get flow after flow after flow really close to each other because they cannot switch, they cannot get a lot of new fresh air. So yeah. if you keep them so under so pressure really hard for a long time. You have to really to form the attack and bring the ball out. And but they, 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 they are not all able to, to form the really dangerous attack so they'll, they, they keep them in their position so the goalkeeper and they're now even unable to uh, to to make a counter-attack unfortunately one of our cameras appears to be not working which is the most exciting camera the camera around the black mermaid's goal i'm yeah, asking tech if they could maybe uh, reboot it or somehow yeah it's a, it's a frozen camera it's an ice camera Mm -hmm. yeah. Sponsored by Langnese. Ah, and <laughs> it's back again. Okay. Maybe if you uh, would have insulted it earlier, it would have come back earlier. But luckily it's still 1-0. We didn't miss any interesting goals here. But Amagran is uh, really keen on trying to make a 2-0 out of this game. So, one minute left. So do you think Anso will be able to show her superstar powers? I would really love to scream at Black Mermaids now because they need to win this game. I can imagine, but... If I they win from us, they need to win from them. Yeah, but it seems that uh, the Danish girls play much smarter. And, and with more seven efficient. girls, more efficient, more ball control. 26 seven, uh, seconds left. So and still trying to make it 2-0 out yeah. of it. I'm really impressed. And with they're still controlling the ball. Yes. Around oh, four did you see that? She went yeah. up and she went down again. Yes. Not even fresh air. Yes, impressive. Oh, this and is really, really nice goal. Well deserved. Seven seconds. Yeah, I wouldn't like to uh, admit, but this was a really nice goal that she didn't impressive. even went up for air. Impressive. Impressive game from uh, Amangan and congratulations. Uh, solid defense, no respect, uh, playing their style, controlling the ball. Not switching. Yeah, it's, it was real world mistakes and that this was a perf perfect. Yep, perfect let's team. see if they can manage to win the next game then. I think <laughs> this was the last game now for Black Mermaids. Look at this uh, schedule. It is currently... Speed 25. So... Uh, then the, the next, next team game will be Castores against Piranhas. Both female teams again. Yes, so Castores in blue from Colombia and Piranhas from Spain. In white. And we see here the piranhas that are doing their warm-up. It's really, really uh, good to warm up your ears, to go up and down. If they're not warm before you start playing, they probably won't hold the whole match. Yeah. So, now let's see if the Castores can continue to play their offense game, which they already showed. Uh, I was I was impressed. Uh, I think uh, Castores is uh, together with uh, Karen. Uh, oh yeah, they're waving each other. Hi. And yes, showing, showing, showing their, their muscles, muscles, and something like that. It, 
it's funny when you see the, the tiny girls, uh, you don't expect them to play on the water rugby, but they are fast, they are smart, they are controlled. They <laughs> That's what you say. That's what I heard. <laughs> Yeah, they, I would say I heard that the, okay, from the experience we have, they're a little bit sneaky. <laughs> Let's just see if there will be some snorkels floating in this game too. I do need to say that the outfits of the Colombian team always surprise me in such a great way. Like, they have a great designer over there who yeah. is always like, where does he get his inspiration from? I've been on so many tournaments for both hockey and rugby and each time I'm like wow yeah yeah seeing them th playing with the, the, the designs and the attitude and the, the positive uh, feeling around and something like that it's a uh, really nice uh, and uh, I I really appreciate that I had the chance to go to Cali not that we win uh, but uh, to visit Cali again I was there 20 years ago as a player and I came back as a coach so that was for me a great experience uh, if so you're wondering who this guy is he is the national coach of the German team who is commentating <laughs> here Wondering, wondering. <laughs> it could be. Um, yeah, yeah, my name is Jörg Ottel. I'm the head coach of the <laughs> women's team of Germany since uh, 2013, uh, and uh, uh, support the team uh, to to on the way to their championships. But uh, uh, you in the audience, let us know uh, who you are, where you're listening from, and who are you cheering for? Why are you specifically tuned in to this game? Is it because you like the Colombian suits so much? <laughs> or is it because you really would like to see if um, the Spanish girls can um, beat the Colombian girls? No way. Sorry. Who knows? <laughs> who knows? I know. We'll see. I uh, also have the really feeling that uh, there are a lot of Spanish uh, speaking uh, people watching now. I can't yeah. say more than hola, <laughs> but uh, hola to everyone out there, <laughs> not understanding <laughs> us. I can see if I can maybe get a Spanish speaking person yeah, here. No, normally Lorena is uh, shouting mm -hmm. around for this game. Soon there is a Spanish commentating. Yeah, Lorena. Lorena's